thanks to the guys at Curve Digital, the, the publisher. Let's have a key so we can check this out. Let's um, jump in and um, let's see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I the feeling is should lower for a bit. Is that our ship? We got a mission that needs your immediate attention. It appears a module in a comms array by the moon is malfunctioning. We are not expecting complications. This would serve as a perfect opportunity to do some training. Right. Training mission, right. Right. Alright, we need to go and retrieve the module, repair the ship, and deposit it back in the comrade. So, okay, th okay, this is our ship. What? So we got a captain, we got a couple of uh, navigators, I guess. Turrets. Uh, so we got a captain by clicking directly on them or their panel. And hit launch. Wait, why? Well, I'm not ready for that. Ah, oh, okay, everything, everything, that's all we can do. Alright. Launch! Hello, FG. <coughs> These little flights in by right clicking. Zoom in and out to the scroll wheel or the up and down arrows. Ah, okay. Navigate to the Earth to the Moon. Right, so right, click the middle mouse wheel or press space bar to toggle tagging mode. All right, when you take a jump gate, your captain will pilot towards it. All right. Depending on the ship waypoint, your ship will orbit or align to it. Right. Hyper jump to Earth! And first tap to enter fast forward mode. Hang on, hang on. Alright. Okay, so now we we got options. Now we're in the game, we actually have options, so I can actually set the sound back up in the volume mixer and actually Yeah, I mean it, there was there's no there was no um um on the main menu there's no settings. You gotta get into the game to get settings, so I had to get into the game to get to the volume. Pew, pew, pew. Right. Well, we will tag it as necessary. Um, show hints. I'll totally show hints. Yes. Um. Oh, hello. Right, crew. Look, how to play. I mean, like, when you get a game that's got, holy shit, it's got th this much info on how to play the fucking game, that's, you know it's pretty, in, it's pretty in-depth, right? We've got a captain, a comms officer, engineer, security officer, weapons officer, two weapons officers. Right. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Turn it up a bit more. Right. But where does it say? Oh, when it's when you're in fast forward mode, you got the edge of the screen is like flashing like that. So the edge of the screen is flashing to indicate you're um, in fast forward mode. I click on the captain directly or on that panel. Charge. When you're orbiting a tag jump gate, you can charge for the hyper jump. Right. We are probably doomed, yes. Your charge for hyper jump, select engage. Earth the moon. So we got some uninvited guests, our scatters are picking up incoming phasmid uh, activity to your location. Uncertain how many are on their way, so make sure all your weapons are manned. 
Uh, okay, how do I do that? All right, let's take our engineer directly by clicking on him. Put him in a turret. All right, so we've got one in the, the each side in the back, right? The daughter, so one of the um, security officers, stick them in the front turret. So we've got someone in each turret, right? There's always a metal boss button. So you've actually got to, wait, you've actually got to tag the targets. I guess if you don't tag the targets, it doesn't shoot at them, is that how it works? I'm guessing this is like shooting automatically, right? I'm not. I mean, they're automatically aiming at the stuff we tag. Um, they can't. They, they can't. Aim, they're not aiming very good. Anything I can do to speed this up, make them aim better. Um, you get your key tomorrow as your. Uh, yes. Yes. Um, but yeah, it's out. It's out. It's out tomorrow, Chris. Um, I mean, it, it is a finished game. It's just, um, it's not out till tomorrow. I think the like content credit is like, um, you know, uh, some folks got early access to it. Good work. It looks like that's the last of them. Repair the probe and return to base. All right. How do we do that? Tag. I tag it. Says so space. Tag it. And then we'll fly towards it. Right. Select your engineer. Move them to the ship's tractor beam station. All right. Oh, I can't put her back in the seat. All right, the tractor beam can be used to retrieve and deposit objects, <coughs> as well as retrieving crew to exit the ship. All right. Waiting for alignment. So he's so going to start orbiting this thing, I guess, or sit next to it. Ah, oh, there we go. Retrieve. <coughs> so I'm going to pull it in and repair it, I guess. Right. Select your engineer to repair. Came okay, to repair the station. Can I repair the communications array? Move him into the station again, and we're going to put it back, I guess, right? Deposit. All right. You can set abilities and scientists out of the tutorial. Yeah, I mean, at the moment, I think we're just in the tutorial, so we're very limited what we can do, right? Return to base. I tag in the jump gate. Nice, we're going to finish a mission. We gotta finish a mission. Oh, we 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 did it without. You say you like simple? I got a feeling this game is not straightforward, right? Um, take the landing waypoint on the station. Uh, isn't that it there? Oh, we're already tagged it, I think. Right? Yeah. Heading updated. If it's anything like Bomber Crew, this is not a simple game, right? Hello, hello, Devote. Hello, Noxwood. I've been doing alright. I've been doing okay. Yay, we beat a training mission. Yeah, we got a thousand XP, thousand credits, five hundred research. Right, we finished the mission.
All right. One mission completed. That's right. So at this point here, I finished a mission. We've that's it. We're, we're 100 percent success rate. Yeah. Oh, this is a mission briefing room. Select a mission for your crew. Okay, so this is the. All right, hang on, let's come back. Um, let's have a look around. What else we got? So mess hall. Well, uh, you can get a glimpse of the comings and goings of your life on Athena in a mess hall. Events take place during the war against the Phasmids are also broadcast on TV. Ah. Ah, I like it. Doing on TV. It's simple, but can get very chaotic as you pound to save your crew and your ship. Okay. So we've only got the two things we can do at the moment with our bounties. So we got a mission, one mission we can chip throw out. We got not much choice here. We got a low risk. That's just what I like. So enemy forces at Phobos. Enemy forces massing at Phobos must be taken care of. Wiped them out. All right. What is the game about? I think. It's um, it's kind of like a, a strategy game. I think that you you're basically get, uh, to take control of a ship. Um, you got to manage the crew. Um, and I think you you basically go on missions. Um, I mean, like this first mission here is just taking out some enemies. I think you got multiple different mission types you can do with different different difficulty. And you know, you level your crew away. But the, the phasmids are here. I, I don't know the story in the back the, the background. I think you got the um, this enemy alien enemy force that are, that are kind of trying to wipe um, you out, and you're trying to stop them. Pretty much, right. Pretty much. So it's basically bomber crew in space um, with some some adjustments. I think they got I think they got some new stuff they've added, right? Right. Well, this is real combat mission. There is still a few features of the ship that you will need to try out. All right. At some point during a mission, some control of the ship and crew will be locked. Oh. I don't want to launch it, I want to look around and do stuff. I guess we're still in training, aren't we? We're still training. Alright, what? Um, click the mouse wheel or press space bar to tag. And what do we got here? So, pilot mode. We've got waypoint, or patrol, uh, evasiveness. Uh, I guess that's for when we're getting attacked. That's like this is the captain's panel, so the captain can um, set the pilot in mode, set the crew abilities. We can't look at any of the others because we're training. This is over your shields, I guess, right here. All right. I got to Mars. <laughs> We're going to Mars. I got a feeling this is going to be the, this is going to be a pretty fail. Um, I think. Um, what is this this red thing over here? I right, fully charged and ready to jump. Before you jump, let's run through how your ship's reactor works. Alright, okay. Take your engineer. Uh, this is the engineer's panel. Uh, from here, you can modify your reactor output to the different systems. Ah, uh, okay, you can more to engines like um, shields, weapons of gravity. You can turn gravity on and off. Oh my god. Um, While charging for hyper jump, four units of the power will be diverted and locked to engines. Until it's upgraded, the reactor is only four units of power, so currently all your reactor power is being used to jump. Yes, okay, so while we're trying to do a jump, we got no shields, no power to shields or weapons, right? So you're very vulnerable. Notice your energy weapons are showing that they do not have any power to operate. That's right. Your gravity generator and shield recharge are also without power. After you complete your hyper jump, reactor output will be returned to the previously set balance and everything will be operational again. Right. 
So this, we got a comms officer. We got an engineer. What is that one? That one is. These are like the weapons officers, right? I think that's weapons. Those two are the weapons officers. Uh, that, what is that one? Is that a security? I think that icon is like a security. It's like a it's like a sheriff's badge, right? I think that's a security officer. Um, I think. <coughs> All right. Structure engineer. Try removing a unit of power from the gravity generator. Not sure gravity generator is indicating that it's not enough power to operate. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. Try adding uh, a unit of power to the weapons. So by default, it's got we got four units of power. We got one in shields, one in weapons, one in engines, one in gravity. Right by default. Energy weapons require power in order to operate. They're more effective with more power. Non energy weapons do not require any power. Okay. So basically, we want some auto cannons. Um, so, your security officer, move him to the ship's left weapon station. No sure, the security officer has difficulty moving around because there's no gravity. That's right. Right. Enemies incoming, full ship and crew control has been returned to you. Oh, what? No, 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 no. Um, <coughs> and we got someone in guns, that's all that matters, right? So, the front gun's not manned, but we could put this guy in the front gun. So, reactor power to your preference and move your crew to weapons as required. Right. I'm going to move him in there just to have someone in each. But now we've actually moved him away from there, we can't change the power because he's not in these stations, right? But we have to you have to tag the ships before you can actually shoot them, I guess, right? I mean, can we actually like turn the ship and stuff and na navigate the ship to make it like turn it to have the um, turrets better? Is it this is like fully automated? I think, right? Our shields, rear shields are down. There's a self destruct button. I'm sure there is. I mean, you got escape pods on the ship. You can probably run to the escape pods and get out if you're about to die, I guess. Let's put the, put the engineer back over here so we can actually. I mean, it doesn't really see how much in a way of damage, right? So, um. No damage. I guess this must be the heal station. So if they get if they get uh, hurt, they can come in here and heal up. Maybe like a med bay. So it's just right overdrive. I wonder who this this other this other weapons officer is. It seems to be. Is that the weapon? Why the comms guy? I guess we could put a like, comms person could sit in here, and, so we can leave him in here to mess with the power. And do we have any? Is there any more we're supposed to kill? What are we gonna do? Ah, Mars Phobos. <laughs> I think we can, you gotta keep a lookout for other enemies coming in. Maybe um, the bottom guy needs healing. Bottom guy, which which guy? Oh, he's lost. Is that he's lost a little bit of health, right? Oh, this guy here, yeah, this... Oh, the dude in the, in the red turret. Let's put him in there and just see how that works. Maybe I should just actually put the gravity generator back on just for now. Right, so we're orbiting it. Until we go in there, I don't think anything's gonna... Anyway, so it's obviously like a... um. 
you can only like um, repair a certain amount, like heal a certain amount. So that guy getting back that little bit of health he's lost, he's used like about 20% of the, um, he's used about 20% of the, or 25% almost of the capacity. I guess that's something you can probably upgrade, right? Because obviously, obviously everything is up upgradable, right? So. Refire there. Okay. So if the comms officer is, is using scanning, does that? I wonder if that means if um, if he's not in, no one's in that seat, whether or not we can't scan. So aim accuracy, back to us hundred percent. Aim accuracy thirty percent, forty six percent. This guy, he's these two are obviously because because the, I guess these two are weapons. They're specifically um, weapons people, right? They're weapons officers, so obviously they're probably got better better aim right um yeah i think once we've done the train the, the first the training mission here will be you'll be able to do what you want right um, or it'll be a bit easier because at the moment it's only letting you have access to certain things while you're training Where? And it's um. Let's take that guy in there. Just so that we now got can I guess. We have a bit of control here. We can kind of switch this around if we want, right? I'm guessing. I mean, we we got no direct control over the ship, right? But I, I guess if it, eventually you might be able to get like um, I mean, you got this evasiveness here. Maybe you're gonna you get an ability which is like evasive maneuvers or something. You push a button and you you kind of dodge a bit, maybe. Um, because I guess these are weapon. You're gonna upgrade at level two. We're gonna get another skill here, another one there at level four, right? Um. I mean, they're ain't pretty, pretty sucks, right? Um. <laughs> oh wait, is that more? Those are, those are bigger ships, man. Those ones get 200 XP each rather than 100. We just sit still and put more power to our shields until they're dead. That seems like a good idea. Right. Alright. Do you have any damage? I guess there's no ship damage, right? Wait, what do we got here? Is there like a spacesuit? Got a med, med kit? Fire extinguishers. So the captain, the captain took damage. So the, the, the captain who hasn't moved from his seat or her seat right there, she's the one that took a bit of damage. How? How does she take damage? I mean, the guys in the turrets, you kind of make sense, right? Um, if you if you're in a turret, they're probably going to take a, they might take a bit of damage, but. In them at defensive and offensive stances, ah, not been any further than that. Yeah, I guess at the moment we don't have that yet, so, um. Oh, well, hang on, a com. The com's on, man. Alright, hang on. Alright. 
So yeah, you need someone in the comms before you can do shit. Um. <coughs> middle section with a spanner hovering it over it is damaged. Um. What that? If I click on it, will he repair it then? Yeah. What even is that? Is that always that the reactor? So the reactor took a bit of damage. Before you return to Athena, we'll explain a little bit about your captain pilot modes. Ah, oh, okay. On the captain station, you can select the current pilot mode. Yeah, we got one at the moment. Which is patrol. Currently, the jump gate lock was tagged. You can see the waypoint locked is highlighted. Try to cancel him. Let's try canceling the waypoint. All right. Press patrol to cancel the waypoint and patrol this sector. All pilot motor will become available as you okay. Notice how the jump gate is untagged, tag it again and switch back to follow waypoint. All right. There's a lot there's a lot going on, right? Um First have to fast when there's no fires on board and no fires. Yeah, that makes sense. So when there's nothing going on, you can speed up a little bit. Let's go! Yeah! Two missions! We got a little bit of damage, that's alright though, no, that's alright. It's only a little bit. 500 more research, I wonder what the research points are for. Um. Oh, we got level 2, so he's... We got attack and defense. Engineers got a reactor boost. I wonder if this is like uh, abilities I've learned for getting level two. So shield replenish for the security officer, focus fire for the weapons tubes. So he's probably got two stances there, like attack and defensive mode, right? Patrol modes maybe. <coughs> right, attack plots of course towards enemy fighters for a more direct confrontation. Defense plots of course that keeps the ship's strongest shields against enemy. Reactor boost temporarily gives all a small booster of power output. A quick of many shields to full strength. I guess these are probably abilities you can use maybe like uh, with a with like a t uh, timer or something. High as aim accuracy with a turret for a short period. All right. Oh, gears. So we've got a lightly armored suit. Basic armor suit provides more protection without restrictions. So we got a battle helmet. We got some boots and some gloves. So we got we got like a set an, an armor set for them, right? Oh look, we got two more, two more taps. Got a recruitment. There's a recruitment room. A new recruits will come here to fill your crew. Ah, okay, so once people die, we can bring some peeps in, right? This is a crew gear room in here. You can customize your crews up here. Different crew gear will have different properties, such as resistance to damage, resistance to radiation, or improvement bully. <laughs> right. We've got a captain. I guess that's like armor, um, like radiation resistance. Minus foot? I guess that's probably movement, right? That's probably movement, maybe? So what did they actually get? So at the moment she's got nothing, right? I guess she's got nothing right now. That's the preset is to load all the what we just unlocked. That's the only thing we just unlocked is. Let's do it. I mean, I guess eventually, once you get more, you're going to get multiple different type of gear, and um, you're probably going to have certain gear that um, you put on some, like the the, radi the radiation resistance stuff. You're probably more so put on the engineer. 
who's probably going to be working on fixing the reactor and stuff, right? So we lose a bit of movement speed here. They gain armor, but they lose movement um, for this armor set. No, I'm just going to give it to everybody. Because it's better and see, see how that turns out. I mean, the captain looks as exactly the same as the rest of the crew, but that's okay, right? When you customize a load out of your crew, every crew member can have one of the following items. Right, so headgear, armor, gloves, boots, holster items, or a weapon or a tool. So but armor is um, resistance to damage, okay? How fast they can move around a ship. Oxygen uh, resistance, how long they can survive without O2. Yeah. Outside, if they're out, if anyone gets outside the ship, and we don't mean them to be, I got a feeling they're gonna be dead, right? Holster items, all right. It's a revive tool, uh, face pistol, engineer tool, personal shield. I guess these are all stuff you're gonna unlock. Um, right. The fact he's got the the exclamation mark here makes me think that there's something I gotta do here. But I don't mean there is. Oh my god, we got two missions. So we got investigate activities, investigate reports of phasmid activity near Mercury, clear out any hostile forces. Or we've got phasmid activity has been delayed, has delayed the transportation of a much needed supplies. A safely transport the cargo. So we got an escort mission. Oh my god. We got an escort mission. Escort mission gives you more credits. Right, and research points. So, I guess we gotta we gotta do that, right? Go. Transfer supplies to the asteroid belt. I mean, it sounds like an escort mission. I don't know if that's what it is or not. Um. <laughs> Um, Safest route via Earth to the Moon, fastest route by the asteroid belt with increased enemy activity. I look to see if they got more buttons. Ah, so the security officer now, we got some buttons here. Ah, oh, purge! Wait, what? Atmospheric purge? Ah, oh, I, I think you can probably get bored. If you've got a cargo room here, so if, some, if you get some dudes book coming here and bored, and if you can kind of vent that room, you might better just get them out, right? Should recharge right hundred percent. So this is this is obviously the ability he unlocked. So we can push that button as an emergency to replenish the shields. Ah, focus fire, so that's his ability. Okay. That's the ones that they've unlocked. All right. Let's go. I think the ship and stuff is customizable too, but not right now. I can't do anything. You gotta get out once you finish your tutorial, yes, right? Before we start, let's quickly go over some of the equipment on the ship. Alright, equipment is stored uh, in the racks around the ships. You can customize your ships to load out between missions at the station. Alright. So we got is it fire extinguisher. Like a, I don't know what that is. Is it a radiation suit or a space suit to go outside, maybe, right? I don't know what this is here. Maybe a gun? Is that a gun rack? It does look like a gun rack, doesn't it? I guess for if you get boarded. Alright, four types of equipment. Space suits. We've got fire extinguishers. We've got phase rifles. And we got med kits. There's only one rifle. Oh, There's one rifle there. So we got, we've got got two rifles on the ship. That's not a lot of guns. Oh. Some of the crew lost health and he didn't heal them back up before getting back to base. Looks like they auto here. Yeah, but they probably did between missions, I guess, right? Um, as a train next time, we will start the controlled fire at the back of the ship for your crew to put out. Take your engineer, pick up a fire extinguisher, extinguish fire. Stow the fire extinguisher. Get back in your seat. Occasionally your engines become damaged, it will cause them to link radiation to your ship, harming your crew. Uh oh. 
You'll have to send a, a crew member out with your ship. Make sure they pick up a spacesuit before going out. What? The marks, the damage. Let's try out repairing it now. Right, so pick up a spacesuit. Get out there. I guess we got to make sure we're not moving when we do this. Right. So he doesn't get um, you know, just left behind. These rifles um, to fast its board your ship. If one of your crew become incapacitated, you can have another crew member use a medkit to revive them. We got a few of those. I think those might be needed. The thing that's weird is you got a, the two places we got guns. One right by the, de the on the bridge, which makes sense. The other one is in the cargo bay, right? So if they board the ship, they come in through likely coming through here because this is the cargo bay. So if they come in through here, you're not going to run in here and get this gun, right? Unless you get pre-warning that they're going to come. If you, if you get warning, like, if you can kind of tell that they're going to turn up, you can get in there before they board. As in the items training, continue with your mission. Okay. Um, we're going to go to safe route because we are chicken shit. Yeah. We're chickens. So I guess any we got three jumps to go. I guess anywhere in these jumps we could run into hostile forces. Um, you had to confirm our route is Venus. That's right. Enemy fighters detected. So that looks like he's gonna board, right? He's closing in. So I guess if someone gets really close like that, there's a chance that they're probably gonna, they may well be trying to board. This game is really cool. It's, it's very, it's, it's a lot to it, right? I mean, it's, I mean, I've never seen, I never seen the last game like Baba Kuru, but um, there's a lot going on here. Um, I wonder if you can prioritize target. Like, if one, if you see, when, if you see a target that looks like it's coming to, um, it looks like he is coming to board the ship. Hang on, which where have we got our weapons, guys? Under this, one. right? This one. So this guy here, if I use this guy here and tell him to use his focus fire ability. Oh, he's on the other side of the fucking ship now, isn't he? That's fucking pointless. So I guess this is a cooldown, and maybe that's the cooldown, or that maybe this this bar running low is how long it's um, is how long the ability is active, I guess. And then when it re, oh, see what happens when it when it empties, it probably start recharging. Um, I'm not gonna accidentally push that. Um, probably it may well get pushed, but I don't think I'll do it accidentally. Right, let's put our our officers back. So yeah, so when it runs out. I guess it's going to start filling up now to recharge it. Um. And what was there? Put it back in our security station for a second. What was the. Um... Ah, okay. So the security station is to purge parts of the ship. Let's do it as purge number one. Okay. 
Oh, yeah, so if, if you resort of boarding in here and she can just, if, she, if she's in a seat, we, she can just vent that, vent that, um, that room, right? And then they're gonna, they're gonna be gone. Which is kind of neat. But she's got to be sitting at a station to do it. Like to re use a replenish shield, she's got to be sitting there to do it, right? And yeah, as you can see, it's slowly recharging. All right. Engage. <coughs> I don't know. Maybe put leaving the leaving the um the security person in her seat is probably better. Or maybe even just put her in this one. I mean, I'm leaving the engineer out of a turret because he's probably the better one. He's the better one to fix stuff, right? So if if stuff needs fixing, he's the better one to do it, right? As we see, something needs fixing. So having this this one here in this turret and moving her there where she's right next to the So the two fighters are in the rear and the right. Alright. Alright, before any more turn up, we'll um Before any more turn up, we'll fix the stuff. Um. <coughs> Wait, we got more? Yeah, we do. Yeah, so unless you t until you target them, they don't shoot at them, right? That's kind of weird. I don't, I don't know if I like. I don't know if I like that. So if you don't, so if you don't like focus and target. Slack them, they, the, the crew will just sit there and let them blow you up. I don't know about that. That's a bit odd. Alright. We good? We good now? We good? We good? Good? So we're gonna move. Um... Put gravity back. Put this chick back in the calm seat. Otherwise, we can't do diddly. I think I might. Um... I'm trying to figure out the best place to put the weapons, dudes. And one at the back is kind of neat. So I gotta remember the one at the bottom is the dude at the back. So these, t the one at the back and the front have taken a bit of damage. They've taken a bit of health damage. You can't just sit there, you're the captain. Wait, what? I mean, I mean, I guess the captain could get out of the seat and try to repair stuff, or get in a turret too, right? I mean, I suppose you could. Um, so you could also jump in, jump in a turret yourself. Um, I kind of forget. I keep forgetting that this one here, right? She can kind of jump in a turret too. 
I mean, they obviously need a comms officer in her seat for you to go anywhere because you can't go through the jump points and stuff without the comms officer in their seat. These two are obviously going to just permanently just chill in the turrets. Unless you get boarded, they'll probably be the better ones to try to get, um, to take on the boarding. You see the time controls in the upper left of the UI? Is there a total pause mode? I don't think there is. Um, I don't, I've not seen any sort of active pause or anything or anything like that. Um, I mean, you can slow slow it down, I guess. That's like that's like holding the control key down, and you can only hold it. To, you can only use it for a certain amount of time. So while you're holding it, you're like, it's only a, it's only like a, it only runs for a certain amount of time before it has to probably recharge. So you can't have it in slow mode the whole time. Um, right. So enemies are obviously going to be going after. This is the guy we got to protect and escort, right? So we know there's fighters over there, so we can we can kind of prep. Enemy fighters detected. All right, so let me just where? Oh no no. So I guess without the um, and with, without without her in the seat there, you're gonna have to do stuff manually, right? Let's put her in that seat there. Get in there, mate. Wait, he's down. Alright, you go get a repair. Uh, get a repair kit. Alright, resin. Alright, he's back in his turret. And we, on, we got a lot of ships that we're not even, we haven't even got targeted, right? So we can't even shoot at them. Okay. Yeah, micromanaging, micromanaging nightmare, man. So before we, right, before we do any of that, we're gonna re we're gonna repair stuff, right? Wiz, dude, you come in here, and you start repairing stuff. You can just come in. These two will kind of heal up. <coughs> right. and I think I think a little bit, like, a bit like that, yeah. Um, I mean, I never played FTL, but I've seen it. It's a similar sort of thing. I mean, it's that sort of strategy, I think, right? Um, I right, just fix that. You sit back down. So I really, it looks like our rear shields are damaged, right? Is that what? Is that what they're indicating? Do you think the red, or is that just showing that that turret's empty? I I don't know. Maybe is that what it's showing? There you go. You come and get some too. <coughs> right click to deselect what though? Um, right click to deselect what? Um, I mean, you deselect what, who you're who you're controlling with right click, yeah. Um, yeah. So that, that red there, it obviously means the the rear our rear shields must be damaged, right? It's red. 
But we got no way to do any sort of evasive maneuvers. If you've got a ship sitting behind you, um, you can't like focus and turn the ship to um, do it. What are we saying now? We probably can. We got this, this these modes here. So yeah, we can do it with this. Um, this is what we just unlocked, wasn't it? So we have to use these. Um, we'll try it when we get the next fire. We'll try it in different modes. Um, a definitive mode, I think it says, was going to make it so that your, um, um, I mean, your, um, it's going to try to keep your shields, your shields all the time, right? Um, your most powered shields towards the enemy. I mean, the, um, when you're kind of zooming in with this, is really, really kind of a bit clunky, the, um, the scan mode. Because it kind of zooms in so much when you're doing it, right? Um, can we repair it before we go? Oh, hang on. No, we can't. So we're picking this up and taking it back, right? Alright, have a safe journey home. Yeah, I don't know about that. I mean, our med bay's almost fucked, right? So. Right. <coughs> so we'll try the. Um, when we get into a combat game, we'll try the, the different uh, modes, the defensive and attack modes. So that was the safest route. This is the way we, we came, wasn't it? The safest route. So if that's the safest route, then holy shit. I don't know what, what I think what the other route was like. Now while you're just booting around, you can... Well, don't worry about the gravity um, so much. Alright. We're getting fucking asteroids bouncing off the back of the ship. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on there? <coughs> right, well, everything looks okay, right? I mean, we look all right. Um, Alright. Now we're probably going to get um, jumped here, right? I got this. We're going to get jumped at some point. If anything is scared, the, the, the comms officer should tell us if, they, if she detects something, right? Oh, there we go. Maybe she didn't. She didn't actually tell us. So the dude at the back is that one, right? So when they get a bit closer, we can actually, um... I mean, he's doing all right, right? He's doing all right. I see his focus button. Damaged apart from me. Oh shit, outside. Hang on. How do we stop? We gotta we gotta repair, right? And when we I gotta get him to go outside and repair that. He's taking radiation damage. And you come down here for a second. I mean the ship's moving. If he goes outside to repair it, is, is he gonna kinda just buzz up into the distance? Um. Oh my god, fucking fighters detected as well. This is not the time to be going outside, right? Um. We could just charge and go for the pole, but I guess we should wait. And we gotta repair, kill these and repair that before we go in. Oh, 
Right, so this guy, we want him. Yeah, him. What is that there? Put a space suit. That guy repaired that, right? As I said, I don't know how to stop the ship, so. The game repairing, man, because they're taking radiation damage. Get him in the repair bay. Get in there, son! So I guess the, the light part, the light green part, is the potential damage he's taken. Hang on, you in there. It's the potential radi rad damage he's taken, right? <coughs> it's not meant to be this chaotic this soon, what? It's, yeah, I, I... Right. We got one more jump to go. So we got one more lot of potential lot of combat, right? Before before all hell breaks loose. And we should um start moving towards the thing. Get her in there ready just in case, because it's gonna probably happen. Our music starts, which means you know that there's dudes coming, right? Then it's like, look for them. There we go. Let's try the um, defensive mode. Hey, we got a team up. Look at that. So. How did you select it? That one? Oh, it's a defensive mode on, so the ship is kind of turning and being a bit more evasive. It just went up to 18% right when we clicked it. Luxury scanner in the bottom right. I think I don't have any, um, I haven't got anyone in my, um, in my comms thing. So my comms officer is in a gun, in a gun seat rather than in the ship, so, rather than in her seat, so she's up there. I think the, 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 the part under the yellow bit I think is the radiation. Um, he took some um, radiation damage, right? Um, so we got to put her back in there because if she's not in the sea, she doesn't. We can't warp, right? But I've, I, I think um, the the green part is the radiation he took from out here, and it's slowly turning back to dark green, right? So I reckon I think that's probably what that is. Um, and let's get this. What does this security officer panel do? Repl oh, it's, it's replenish shield or purge. So basically, for I mean, it's good to have her near here, just in case you need to kind of vent the the, the cargo bay if you get boarded, I guess. Or, um, oh, more? I should just get through the fucking thing, shouldn't I? Um. Yeah, so she's probably useful to have near there. If, if you want an emergency, put your shields up, or... trying to decide which obviously one of these are going to be put in the front turret and the one that you want to have down this one here while she's not in our seat you got you you got no she doesn't like tell you about targets and stuff like when she's there you get a little uh, she, if she scans a target she tells you that something's in in kind of um something's been spotted right you got a new two gig two terabyte ssd yeah i mean i've, I've not actually look, i've not actually looked to see if there's any cool prime day shit um Right, this is the, this is it. 
Which one would you actually pick up though? Um, which one was it? What sort of what sort of bargain did you get? I mean, I've, got, I've got a couple of um, I've got a couple of external like uh, I don't have any um, I have any external SSDs. Um, so what what sort of connection is that? Um, I was doing like an external SSD. Is that like USB C or um, just USB three or something? What sort of connection have you got for like an exter the external SSD? <coughs> they all made it back in one piece, and we got all the XPs. Nice, we did a mission. Yeah, without trainings. USB three point one. Ah, okay. Deal stuff. 